Welcome to the wine tasting event on the Norwegian Breakaway. It is happening at the La Bistro French Restaurant here on Deck 6. There's an upcharge today of $22 per person. And we will be sampling four wines along with four different cheeses. And it will be your gooey to the game. The sommelier is here. <laughs> How about that? The best sommelier on the planet right here. Tom from TNT's Adventures to See. <laughs> There's going to be eight of us sitting at this table. Starting over here in the red shirt is Bruce from Ocean to Ocean Travels. And there's Sydney from Ocean to Ocean Travel. Next to Bruce is Robin from Sea Leg Journeys. And next to her is Terry from TNT's Adventures to Sea. Sitting to my left is Tom from TNT's Adventures to Sea. And beside him is Charlie. The empty table across from him, a lady will be joining us here in a few minutes. Uh, she wasn't in our group, but she uh, came to have a good time with us, I think. And you'll see the wines sitting here in front of us. We're gonna be sampling four of them. This sheet that we have in front of us here is gonna help enhance our experience, telling us, you know, about sight, smell, sip, and summary. And these are the four cheeses that we'll be pairing with the wines today. And we'll be going back and forth with them. You can try wine number one with cheese number three and wine number four with cheese number two. We tried all the cheeses with all the wines and got a different taste experience each time. Some of them were fantastic and some of them were a little less fantastic but it was very interesting to do and very fun to do as a group. Yeah, white wine, the dry, the dry. But somehow were you able to uh, experiment or yes. discover the goat cheese with the uh, white wine? Okay, yes. did it change better? Uh, did it change better rather than having it on its own? It did change, but I still like the cheese better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> preference, the concept preference. All right, okay. So That's somehow, from that really actually is a good combination. For those who doesn't like the Sauvignon Blanc or any, or any dry uh, white wines, it is a good combination with the goat cheese. Not only Sauvignon Blanc, but as well as something dry like a Chardonnay. When you go for dinner in any uh, restaurant, like for example here in Le Bistro, if you want to order for a salad, there is a salad called the Croquette. That is a salad with the uh, deep fried, deep fried the goat cheese. Cheese number two. Somehow was it was it a good match, everyone? Good match. Okay, good. All right. So now let's move on to the next one. Let's rinse our palate by having a sip of water. Okay, we will move on to the next one. So the concept that we are going to follow in this one is the intensity. Intensity, as I have mentioned earlier, the lightness, the lightness of the cheese, like the Buddha will be a good match with with the wine number three which is the pinot noir okay so this one this is a by the third glass things were getting pretty silly in there hundred percent hundred percent pinot noir grape okay why do you think the pinot noir is always on the lighter lighter side why do you think so anybody okay so normally because pinot noir come on the steak Every waiter will encourage you to go yeah. for the uh, red wine, right? There's a reason behind for okay, that. Sammy. Because, uh, oh, for I example, that the camera. state, I the don't know what my name is. rich, fatty, <laughs> and structure, uh, or acidic, or even the white wines that will pair, that, that always pair with their uh, food. That's why the red wines uh, for the Italians are made to be like a versatile that you can pair it even with the, some white meat or yes. even with the pasta lasagna. So I would recommend some Italian red wines if you want to go for some seafood lobster or any or any light red wine so that at the end of your dinner, at the end of your dinner, if you're going to have a full-bodied red wine with your fish or lobster, at the end of your dinner, um, you are only enjoying your uh, red wine. It's because of uh, the strong flavor. 
oh, leaving behind the face of the white wine. So much better, it should be complemented with each other. The, the light body, the flavors of your wine, uh, of your food with the light body of your wine. Wait a minute, which floor or which It's really, really good that you complement with each other, not dominate one another, right? Okay. Should I set this down? Any question? Any question now? This is the one I did for. I think the wine's awesome. <laughs> no, 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 you're not going to know. Oh my gosh, that's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. Any questions, sir? Uh, no. no. Uh, <laughs> Can we have okay, seconds? Okay, so now let's move on to wine number four. Let's have a sip of your uh, a glass of water again. Black cherry. Yes? Like a blackcurrant, right? Yes, okay. Okay, now let's blend the wine then. Uh, sorry, taste the wine. Let's taste the wine then. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Look what's going on over here, y'all. Everybody's filming Cindy while she's tasting this stuff. Chocolate cheese. Oh, Alright. Yeah. By tasting the red wine, who likes tasting the wine number four here? Terry, By number four. Who likes the wine number four? Okay, good. Let's taste the wine number four. Who likes the wine number four? Okay, good. What about the tannins that we met discussed earlier? Are there any tannins, right? Yeah. Yes, however, this time, just correct me if you don't like, uh, if, you, if you don't agree. You like the tanning side because it dominates all the fruit flavors, right? Did you like the tanning yes. side because it there is a fruit flavors? Yes, there is some tanning, however, it emphasized the uh, no, she did not like flavors, <laughs> right? Correct. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Now, we are going to pair it with cheese number four, okay? <laughs> For those who doesn't like Charlie's cheese going down number four, over here. So Okay, have a taste of the That's cheese number four, the blue like cheese. <laughs> and while mellowing in your palate, go back again. And you're not a wine drinker, right? Blue? Oh, oh blue can add to a flavor. I could guzzle this on its own. Okay, all right. Have you experimented some other wines with your cheese as well? Yes, I like this with the blue cheese. The okay. third one. Good. Yeah, I didn't like the. Yes, yes. As I mentioned earlier, there are no wrong answers. It really depends also with yes. one of our concepts, which is the preference. So no matter how good the match of the wine and cheese, it still goes on your preference. It is you who are going to explore. You are going. What we really learned here today was that everyone has a different palate and will favor different wines and different cheeses and different pairings of each. It was really fun to find out which ones you like yourself and which ones other people like in comparison to you. Please feel free to approach any of our swimming here so you can get a spot, okay? All right, any question on our wine event today? Any question? Okay. Did you like our wine tasting event today? Yeah. 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 Okay, so thank you everyone for coming to our wine event. My name again is Merli. I'm your head wine sommelier on board the beautiful ship Breakaway. If you don't like my wine tasting, my name is Roberto. Yeah. Roberto! Roberto! <laughs> approach your sommeliers on board uh, during your dinner so that you'll be having a very good uh, dining experience, okay? Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Enjoy Thank you. that on YouTube. Who is more hammered, me or Cindy? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Who's more hammered, me or Charlie? Charlie. Charlie. How about me or Tom? Me or Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that would not make <laughs> Guys, if you don't go to the wine tasting, don't blame Sea Lake Journeys because we're telling you, take your happy butt on up there to the wine tasting, especially when you got great people to hang out with. And now we're heading for lunch. Yeah. Charlie still has his one cent voucher from the casino. He's doing good. Sea Lake Journeys is going to make sure that he does not miss his massage appointment since ocean to ocean travel made him miss his short excursion. Hey, <laughs> 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 He's one cent up. But, but,
But did Charlie tell you? He changed it to 1.30 because he didn't trust us. No, his massage is at 1.30. I just asked him, does he know where his massage is? He, he don't said know. he was fine. We'll, hey, we'll escort you there, Charlie. How about that? <laughs> so, I just told Cindy. I told Cindy, I'll make sure your gimbal is off. This is what she hands me. This is an eyeglass case. A cell phone case, case. No, it's an iPhone case. Yeah, but it's an eyeglass case with the magnetic gimbal attached to it. I need the gimbal, not an eyeglass case, not a magnet. But is it off? I don't know. This is the gimbal. <laughs> the gimbal is powered off. Oh, So yay. we're putting the gimbal to bed. Oh, my God. We're taking the magnet from the gimbal and putting it in the gimbal bag. We're taking the eyeglass case that, by the way, oh, it does have eyeglasses in it. There's glasses in there. We're putting that in the purse. <laughs> I'm having difficulty. Well, <laughs> I'm experiencing difficulty right now. Robin's dropping her stuff over there, too. I gotta get out of here safely. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> so Bruce, Bruce had an event happen at the <laughs> urinal, y'all. Before the next cruise, I Guys, I think this wine tasting was a hit. So I think it was a hit. We had a great time at this wine tasting event on the Norwegian Breakaway, and we think you will too. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, and until next time, we'll see you around the channel.